everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to, that you're here and that you're watching me again. So thank you so much for that. Thank you to all my newer subscribers. I really appreciate that you subscribe. That makes my day. So thank you very much. This smile is because of you. <laughs> so um, sorry if that was corny, but I really honestly mean it. Like I really appreciate when you subscribe. So thank you. Um, today is a gross rainy Tuesday and I decided I'm going to go out and I need to run a couple errands. Um, so since I'm going to be out anyway, I might as well just hit Goodwill. Um, it's Tuesday, so the price tags um, change their colors. So I'll whatever is the color for this week. Today on Tuesday, I think they're only like $2. So I mean, I could legit find something for $30 and get it for two, depending on what the color tag is. Anyway, I also want to hit the grocery store because I need a couple things. Um, so I figured I'll just take you along for that as well. I don't usually for that, but I only need a couple things. Plus, I actually really want to put together a small care package for one of my friends. Um, she's kind of going through a rough time right now, and um, so I just, you know, I just want to, it's on my heart to, to send her a little something. So I figured I'll go to the grocery store, get a couple things. I might hit another store. Um, like, food items are fine, but I kind of want to send something along with her, to her as well, that, you know, isn't just food. Like, sometimes it's nice to get, I don't know, a t-shirt, nail polish. I have no idea yet what I'm going to do. But I'll come up with something, but I just thought it'd be a fun, fun video to do. And I just, I remember in college, did you ever get care uh, packages in college or if you moved away, you got a care package? I would get them in college, mostly for my mom. My mom was always so good to me. Um, but I believe I would get them once or twice from other people. I honestly can't remember. Um, I'm trying to heat on one second. So, but yeah, I, I remember in college getting a care package and it was so nice to get the little note in your box saying you had a package, you go get it and you take it back to your dorm and you open it and there was like your favorite foods and for me it was really good to get like pop tarts and like ramen noodle soup. They were like the cheap easy things to eat. I know it's so stereotypical but it was so nice to get. I remember one time my mom like sent me home with a bunch of like homemade cookies. I just, oh, and I like savored those. <laughs> they probably got real stale by the end but anyway, I digress, I digress. All right, well, I, I don't want to get too rambly. I know my in my last video, I feel like I talked a lot, um, which I don't mind doing sometimes, but I feel like that might get boring. So I'm going to end it here, and I will see you at the thrift store. Showing the rays. Oh, look at the cows. I've never seen cows there before. Just showing you my view. This is how rainy and dark and gross it is here today. Oh, well. Checking out the color of the week. Oh, I always check that right when I walk in. I thought this shirt was kind of pretty. There, there were some interesting shirts that caught my eye walking towards the housewear section, so. Huh, I, I like the old uh, Hawaiian shirts. This shirt reminded me of my grandfather. He used to wear shirts like this all the time. Really fun Easter mugs. They were pretty... Pretty massive and pretty decorative. You could use that as like a vase any any time of day, but I thought those were really, really cute. This is, I thought this mug was really pretty. It's actually a Lennox mug. I actually looked it up online and I couldn't find one that sold, but there was one that was like for sale for the 1995 here on the screen. I had a hard time finding it. Um, gorgeous mug. I thought this was sweet. I was half thinking of getting this for my friend to throw in her little care package, but I don't know, a used vintage mug. Like, it probably wouldn't bother me, but some people aren't crazy about getting used stuff, which is totally fair. But the yellow tag would have been $2. Here's Craig's uh, flask. I don't know how it ended up in Goodwill. I don't, I don't know if that was like a graduation date or a marriage date or what. Hopefully a good event date. <laughs> I think that was like a, for like a honey, like a honey jar. I'm guessing that's what that was for. It was kind of cute, but he was missing his one eye there, so it kind of took away from some of the the cute factor for me. Definitely vintage though, though. It said made in Taiwan. I've never seen gravel art like in a landscape. Usually it's just like one image. I really, really like the look of this. Like the colors too. This was another print I found interesting. I did try to look it up and get some information, but I really had a hard time with it. 
your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come to your door. I think I <laughs> boogered up that last line. I forgot about this. I was editing this just a little bit ago um, before I did the voiceover and I saw this jar and I completely forgot about it. I'm like, oh crap, I wanted to get that. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll still be there, maybe not, but it was just so pretty. Again, it didn't have a drainage hole, unfortunately, but it was just so stinking pretty. I'm, I'm looking for the price tag here. I'm like, where the heck? Five dollars for that is not bad. I thought someone was looking at me, and here it was this like Elvis. I don't know what that was—a trash can. But it freaked me out. Like out of the corner of my eye, I thought someone was staring at me through the shelf. Like what the heck? I kind of got excited about this crystal um, frame because it was Mikasa and had its original box. Um, there was no price on this thing anywhere. And then when I looked at the bottom of it, the bottom of the box, which I just just had had my hand on was covered in some kind of mold or mildew, so that was kind of gross. This little blue glass, glass vase. I think it was glass or was it plastic? Oh, I can't remember now. It was pretty though. Oh, I love this little, I didn't buy it because I didn't know what the heck I would use it for, but I love the little, the tree with the candy canes and everything. What would you use that for? I guess anything, but maybe put like Christmas balls or ornaments in it? I don't know. And these are really interesting. I believe they're like a trivet or maybe they're just, um, yeah. Sorry, I did look up on eBay. I'm trying to be better at looking up items what they're selling for, just so I can give you guys an idea. Cause I, this is what I love to do. I like to look at items and then later on look them up. I find out information about them and also how much they go for. So if I can find a sold item for things, I do like to try and show that to you guys. I actually think I looked up the crystal frame, but I think I forgot to include that. Um, but. These little chairs were hilarious. I can't remember if they were plastic or glass. I have no idea what they're even for. These are really pretty. It's a mid-century barware, like etched glass and like silver rimmed. Probably a good price for this. I didn't look these up. I actually forgot about them. Not too bad of a price though. <laughs> this old pattern cracked me up. It's like rock that pink jacket. <laughs> I just love seeing these old, the old styles. And this was the cart where they hadn't put anything on the shelves yet. Do you ever look at something and you're like, it's so ugly, it's cool? That's kind of how I felt about this, sh this shoe. It was my size too, but I did leave it behind. Oh, and this little truck, I almost bought this. It was so cute, but really, it wasn't... See, this sells for $5.99. The one I found sold wasn't exact, but it's the closest I could find. It's really neat. Mikasa red glass. What are they calling it? Just a glass? I've never seen it before, ever. I just thought, found it really fascinating. So I just finished up in Goodwill. I didn't buy anything. I was pretty tempted by a couple of the items, but I've been doing a lot of shopping lately and I just, I didn't want them enough. So anyway, I'm gonna head over to the grocery store, take you guys in there just to get a couple things. Plus I wanna look for some certain teas. Supposedly Bigelow has, I haven't found them at my one grocery store, so I'm kinda hoping this one does. So I was waiting for a lady to stand away from the lettuce. She was standing right in front of what I wanted to grab. So I'm like, I'll oh, just walk through the produce section. I thought it was, this was interesting how they were pricing these celery sticks, $3 for a whole thing. I think it's only like $1.50 or something for like a whole stock. This had carrots and celery for $3, but I literally had just picked up a bag of baby carrots for, was it $1.49 or $1.29, even cheaper. So I don't know. I don't know where they get off pricing things, but eh, whatever. I was looking for something for my friend and I found this like this bath stuff. I thought they'd be really relaxing, so. I've used like lavender bath salts before. They're sm they smell so nice and it's so relaxing. And I snagged a um, uh, mascara, oh my gosh, I'm looking right at it. <laughs> it's the kind of I use and I love it. It just, I'm like, I'll get her some. We're not, I know for myself, I don't always replace my mascara fast enough. So usually it's a little old. I thought these look really tasty and yummy. So I want to throw those in. You gotta have some fun candy. Sugar always helps. And her favorite Kit Kat, or her favorite Kit Kat, her favorite candy is Kit Kat. 
At least it was years ago, and every once in a while I get it for her, and she still says she likes it, so. And then I was looking for Lorna Dunes for myself. I couldn't find them, but then I saw the Milano cookies, and I was looking for the new ones. I've seen the, they have um, Earl Grey ones now, supposedly. And I was looking all over for the Earl Grey, and I could not find them. My daughter loves Earl Grey tea, so I thought they'd be fun to grab, but unfortunately they didn't have them. But I did find my Lorna Dunes. And then I was looking for, again, Bigelow Tea has a couple new teas I've seen on my Facebook ads, and I looked all over the shelves, and they didn't have them. One of them was called, like, Whispering Wildflower or something like that. Maybe it's here, and I just wasn't seeing it. I was looking all over. Bigelow does have really, really good tea, um, but I ended up choosing Celestial Seasonings, the Tension Tamer. Yeah, there at the bottom. I like it. It's two for six. So I got one for myself and one for my friend. So I figured she can... The nice lavender bath has some touch and tamer tea. Eat her candies, hopefully be relaxing. Okay, I am finally home, and to be honest, actually the next day. So I have some of the items I have for my friend. I got a box all taped up because I have a bunch of flat boxes in my basement, so I had to get that all set up. And um, real quick, this is that little house that I got thrifting forever ago. The Lorna Dunes fit perfectly in it. They're actually like individually, or not individually, but they have like little packs inside the box that I got. So it's so perfect if it's in there, it's so cute. Anyway, so I have this paper. I thought I had some fun tissue paper, but I don't. But I have this nice like white paper that they usually wrap your antique glass in. So I have that. And then I just don't have any, <laughs> I made like no paper. So I'm gonna use some of this to write my friend a little note and then also use to address the box. But I just wanna kinda quick show you how I put it together. Okay, it's not as pretty and as visually appealing as I was hoping for, but I have the strawberry gummies in here, the tea, her favorite candy, and then I have the little lavender foam bath aromatherapy, and then some mascara because I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't replace my mascara often enough, so that'd be good. And, oh, and this, this is just like a little handmade ring I made years ago. I never wear it. And I remember once she and I got together for coffee and she commented that she liked it. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that to her just because I have so many rings and it's just nice to get jewelry in a little care package. And I was looking for, I had these cute little baggies but I couldn't find them. So I actually found this little box. So I am actually going to tie this ribbon around it and make it hopefully a little bit prettier. Okay, I didn't have enough ribbon to make a bow, unfortunately. So I did just double knot it. But um, I'm gonna try to get it in here somehow. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's a fit. It doesn't go, you make it go. There we go. Anything. All right. So I'm going to wrap that up and get that taped up and drop that off at the post office today. I have some really, I have some stickers lying around somewhere. I might put some fun stickers on the outside of the box. But um, but yeah, I think I think she'll like that. So hopefully that will cheer up her day. Oh, I have to add. A, I have to make a note and put that in here before I seal it up. Guys, last minute decision to film at the flea market today. I don't know what we'll find, but I thought I'd just quick end the video with some shots of the flea market and see what we can find. I don't plan to do a ton of voiceover during the flea market itself, but a couple sections here in the beginning, there was music playing, so I had to take the volume off. Um, first couple little clips here. Um, I just want to explain that. The prices were really good on, this, on the jewelry and there was a really good selection.
<laughs> she don't know. I don't know why I thought that was his wife. She hasn't been out for a while. Not till summer, probably springtime. It gets a little warmer. She's making more jewelry. She's got to work harder so I can goof off more. Right? That's a shame. That's so cool though. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen those before. And there's random music in the background again, so this quick little, this little clip is quickly uh, taking the sound up. I can't talk today. Sorry about that. Anyway. him, you know, and I didn't, yeah. now I see him, but. Well, that's why I came over here. Yeah. They said, is that your stuff over there? And I go, no. Well, I told her it was my stuff right here. Yeah. I guess she didn't, she didn't come Well, I'm really not over there. want to be right next to me. It is 
the next day. Um, I did quick stop at the flea market yesterday and I grabbed a few things. I can't wait to show you what I got. I got some really cute, cute items. I really didn't think that I was going to buy anything. I thought I'll pop over, I'll walk around some footage, but I actually did. And then I stopped at a couple thrift stores later and two thrift stores. Yes. Because I had to think about it. Two thrift stores after that. And I grabbed a couple more small items. So I'll quick show you those. The bag, I've got like three bags here. So this bag is from the uh, flea market. I haven't unwrapped everything yet. Um, so I think I'll, actually only one thing is wrapped. So it doesn't really matter. I can just pull things out. But, <coughs> excuse me. I did get this little cute plastic house with Santa on top. I'm not sure what you would call it. It's just decoration. As far as I can tell, there aren't any, any markings on it. But I just thought it was really cute and adorable. And, um, I don't know, just look how cute that is. I just thought that would look really cute on a shelf. Like when I pull out all the Christmas items, it even has like a little teeny tiny fireplace and a little tiny clock. I just thought that was so sweet. It, it's very lightweight, there's nothing to it. Um, but yeah, like there's no maker's mark or anything, just a cheap little, I'm wondering if this used to be a toy or if it was made for like decoration. Um, oh, and before I forget, everything in this bag I got for uh, $10 think about that. So everything in here I got for $10. So this is part of it. So I got that. And then I got oops, these sweet little Charlie Brown and Lucy figurines. The bottom say made in Hong Kong 1952. I don't think it's cute. They're a little dirty and used but for being how old they are like does that make sense? Being their age, they look fairly, fairly good. A good cleaning wouldn't hurt them, but I just thought they were really cute. Can we see the back trailer? I only do one at a time. So, and I think their faces definitely, definitely do mimic the older, the earlier versions of the Peanuts comics. Cup. Let's see. I always felt like I could relate to Lucy. I was the older sister and had a temper problem, <laughs> but. Um, anyway, I just always liked Lucy because she just, she was complicated. I don't, I don't think she had a bad heart, but she, she could be a little fired up sometimes. So can definitely relate with that. Yeah. 1952 United Feature Syndicate Inc. Hong Kong. So got this as well. And then don't ask me why I bought this. I, I saw it sitting there and I just grabbed it. It was one of these weird items I just had to grab, but just, <laughs> I don't know why I just liked it. There's just something about this figurine and what was the may oh I think this is another reason too um hand painted made in occupied Japan so again occupied Japan if my memory serves me correctly I believe everything that was made in occupied Japan was dated from 1947 to 1951 um I'm pretty sure that's correct it was, it was like a four year span three to five years ish but I don't know I just I really liked it and I just snagged it so that was one of the items. And then the last item in that little grouping that I got for 10 was this really cute, open it here. You can see it. Hope to God I don't drop it. Really, really cute Santa plate. Look at him. I have no idea who made him. Um, I'm guessing made in Japan. It does have like a number and a letter. I'm not sure exactly what that means. But he just looked old and vintage, and I am all about it. So the holly leaves look a little worn. They are missing some paint and this hat, but I don't care. There's enough there to tell what they are. And he just has such a jolly face. So I have not done any research on this yet. I have no idea how old he is, who made him. I'm guessing it's a little dish. Maybe it's like a little ashtray. I'm not entirely sure. But oh, I just love it. It just, it screams mid-century. It just, oh, I love it. <laughs> Literally looks like serious. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. Being, being silly, being silly. Okay, so got those, and then I got these two items. I was walking around. They actually are on the footage, um, I believe. So I got these two items. They were three each, and I asked the gentleman if I could have the the pair for five dollars, and he said yes. So I got these two items. I got the belt buckle with the airplane, and I got this little. Let me hold it a little bit better for you. This little teeny tiny knight in shining armor. Well, it's not really shining right now, but I just, I always love the idea of having like a suit of armor. And I think what I'm going to do with this is 
use it as decoration on my Alice in Wonderland shelf. In um, Alice Through the Looking Glass, there is the, the White Knight and the Red Knight. The base says, oh boy, this is hard to see. I'll take a picture and I will put it on the screen so you can read it along with me. I cannot tell that, I think it just says copyright Super Lore Models Inc. Sculpted by Ron. I have no idea what that says. Anyway, you can look at it yourself. If you have an idea of what it says, you can let me know in the comments. But I just thought it was really fun. So I'm gonna add that to my Alice in Wonderland collection. I just love the size. I just think he's so cool. So, and I got the um, airplane buckle because I was thinking about my dad. So dad, if you want this, it's all yours. Um, I don't know if you'll want it or not though. <laughs> so if you don't want it, that's okay. You don't have to have it. Um, I think the back says Avon. It says Avon on the back. Um, but I don't know if my dad would even use this. But my dad has um, flown planes before, and I wasn't sure if this would be something he'd be interested in. Or my brother. My brother was in the Air Force. So, you know, we, we got airplanes in the, in the family. But anyway, I just thought that was really cool, and it reminded me of my dad. So, Dad, if you want it, it's all yours. You don't have to take it, but you're welcome to it. But, um... Trying to think about it. Okay, that was everything at the flea market, and uh, yeah, I only spent like fifteen dollars there. So there is a thrift store about uh, eight to ten minutes down the street from this flea market that I went to. So I decided to go ahead and stop, and I'm glad I did. I, I only got two items. The one item I got this like it's like a I don't know what you would call it. It's not a shirt, and it's not a shirt cover. I don't know what you. Ah, it was hanging up. I haven't even tried it on yet. I have no idea if it's even going to fit. Um, but it's from Rue Twenty One. I don't even know if Rue 21 is in business anymore, but I just, I love the look of it. I thought this would be something really cute. If you want to dress up an outfit, especially in the summer, oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells really good. But I, I just thought it was really sweet. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'll, I'll wear it with, but it's just a fun way to layer an outfit. And I just thought that was cute. I just like that material and even the, the fabric, oops. Fabric is really soft. Let me try and get, I'm trying to show you the pattern on it. The pretty flowers. So anyway, just something basic and simple, but I caught my eye and I grabbed it. So I think it'll fit okay. I'm not too worried about it. It's one of those things that go over. And it's a large, so it just, it just needs to break over me. It doesn't need to like button in the front or anything, which is good. And then I got this item. I it was one of those items where I wasn't sure if I was gonna grab it or not, but I couldn't walk away without it. And I couldn't find any information on it. I paid, oh yeah, the shirt was, I think one of these items was 50% off. I think the shirt was only like four bucks, and this was three ninety nine, so four bucks. I think my total came to seven something, eight something. But this is, it's like, like white milk glass, but there's a slight tinge of like green to it. I'm wondering if it glows. I do have my little like UV black light, whatever it is, flashlight somewhere, so I really should check and see if it glows. But I thought this would be really pretty holding makeup or perfume, like I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna put my perfume bottles in this. It's really heavy actually. But I love the, the, the pattern on it, the print. I'm not sure exactly what you call that. Like the relief, anyway, on it. But I really, really love it. And it's, I don't know if it's showing up for you guys, but there's like the slight, slight, slight green to it. So I'm gonna try and, I gotta find my, my flush. I have no idea what to do with that. But there is like a slight swirl in it. If you look really closely, I don't know if it'll show up on camera. You can see the swirl here, right there. Anyway, so I'm very happy with that. And last but not least, I'm sure this video is already long, so I don't want to take too, too much more of your time, but, and I was kind of a hypocrite <laughs> I bought this. I'm always complaining about planters not having drainage holes, so I don't buy them. Well, I kind of bought one, but only because it's really, really cute. I just, it feels very mid-century, like something you'd see in a house in California up in the windowsill with some succulents in it. And the bottom did say made in Japan. I've never seen the symbol before. Oh, it was $3. The symbol before. Let's see. Made in Japan, obviously backwards. But um, I don't, I just loved it. So what I might end up doing is just maybe get a cactus or a succulent or two and they don't need a whole lot of water, so maybe that's what a lot of these are for anyway, because you can put some pebbles on the bottom for a little bit of drainage, and you just lightly water the plants. So I'll 
probably just do that. Maybe I'll make a video out of that. We'll go shopping together and go pick out a couple small, small plants for this. Oh, I just love it. Isn't that cute? I just think it's so pretty. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. I don't want this video to be too long. It's probably already too late for that. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Please like and subscribe if you want. I appreciate it. Don't have to. Um, anyway, take care. I'll see you later. Bye.